Molly Cato, MEP, Green Party. You're here today talking about quantitative easing, people's quantitative easing this time. What's the difference? Well, the European Central Bank is issuing 60 billion euros every month, and at the moment that's going onto bank balance sheets, and it's being sort of absorbed by the bank, and it's part of the reason why the banks are still profitable in spite of the crisis. But what we're saying is that money isn't coming out again and being invested in um, small businesses or helping people by creating jobs. So what we're saying is we want that money to go directly to the real economy so that it can create jobs, and especially I would like to see investment in green infrastructure. The current quantitative easing doesn't appear to be delivering results for the economy. Uh, are there, there dangers linked to the, to the people's quantitative easing? Uh, why aren't we using it already? I think there are some impacts from the quantitative easing because such a huge amount of money being created it is having some impact on the economy but it does tend to increase inequality and it tends to get sucked into financial circuits. I think why we're not creating a more useful form of money actually in invested into the real economy is because it will be a serious challenge to the way banking works and if people realise that banks could just create money directly, like, in fact banks do create money directly like that and governments could do the same then I think they'd start turning against the, the whole banking system and Maybe that's why it's a political challenge to convince people that we need this QE for the people. This idea emerged from the UK, notably with the election of Jeremy Corbyn as leader of the Labour Party. Is it something that there's an agreement with between your group and the S&D group within the Parliament? Well, actually, the idea of... Um people popular money creation you know debt free money created by governments has been around for a very long time it's actually been green party policy for about three or four years now it was apparently on corbyn's agenda but it's not labor party policy so it's a bit difficult to know whether the labor party would support this if they were in government um, but here in the parliament today we've seen cooperation between the far left group and the Greens and some people from the socialist group. So we're hoping to build on that because obviously we need to get more support for this kind of popular money creation for social good.